Tis the season for dug up old clips. Here we have Chelsea Handler once again. I, you know, the moment I seen this clip was the moment I realized it's like, oh yeah, no, this is from the previous election cycle. Holy crap, has it been four years already? But when Chelsea Handler tried to get 50 Cent back on the plantation when he was seeing the proposed Biden tax hikes and realizing that, yo man, I live in New York and I'm not paying 55, 60% of my earnings to the government. You can go straight to hell. Chelsea Handler came out on the modeling script and, you know, she was saying that, oh, if you vote for Biden, I'll pay for your taxes. And well, of course, this clip that I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Trump. And it's like, what? But no, 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 it's not taken out of context. This is actually what she said. If you don't remember. You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? 50 Cent and his support of of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets and I go... It wasn't even so much that back in 2020, you know, 50 Cent was a big Trump supporter. He was just anti Biden's proposed tax policy, which in retrospect looks far more amenable to the reality that we've been living in these past four years. But okay, there, there's proper context. He wasn't an out and out Trump supporter. Okay. He wasn't waving the Republican flag or anything like that. Okay. So even still, it's just not accurate, but continue. Oh, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex boyfriend. And then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which, by the way, is in a plan of Joe Biden's. That's Yes, yes, it was. Okay, that was an economist breakdown. That's stupid policy. Hell, I one of my earliest successful videos on my channel was taking a look at that tax policy, and holy Christ, it was bad. It still is, and it's actually even worse in practice. But hey, you guys, don't worry. Uh, America is going to be financially solvent in like 2040 or something like that. That's that's a lie. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cent to 20 cent. And <laughs> that's very I, funny. And I had. Remember, Chelsea Handler, she's supposed to be a comic, and Fiddy's a rapper who made a funnier joke than her. Actually, the funniest stuff that Fiddy sent, okay, outside of the stuff that he's been doing Duncan on Diddy more recently, go back and run back his feud that he had with Floyd Mayweather, okay? Where he told him, okay, I'll bring you on. I, I got in contact with my friend, Jimmy Kimmel. You can come on stage and you can read a page, or you can read a page out of the Harry Potter book anyways. And I know you can't read that because otherwise we can get you to read A Cat in the Hat. I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump, and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. Holy sh... Bruh. Like, the lack of self-awareness on that. Outside of the, you know, you can't vote for Donald Trump because you ain't black now. Running that back, I'm not even entirely sure where this ends up, you know, falling in that timeline. Was this before or after? Joe Biden said that to Charlemagne, okay? But then also, okay, him or her unironically saying, you can't tell somebody to vote for somebody based on the platform that you have and the influence you would have over people. She's saying this on the Tonight Show. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I haven't heard back from him yet, but I, I am willing to, you know, seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces Donald Trump. I might be willing to go for another spin, if you know. Oh, God, yeah. Nobody wants to hear the creaky old hips of a 60-year-old. So I think the long story short, that story was uh, Fiddy retracted anything that he said that could have been construed as being pro-Trump or something like that. Don't ultimately know how he votes. And quite frankly, I don't care Curtis Jackson votes. But Chelsea Handler very much does, okay? A four-year-old clip of Chelsea Handler saying that 50 Cent can't vote for former President Donald Trump because he's black has sparked outrage online among conservatives after being resurfaced. No, 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 it was stupid back then, and now it's just kind of funny and seems antiquated. A comedian made the comments about the rapper which she briefly dated in 2011 during an interview with Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show back in 2020. 50 Cent, real name Curtis Jackson, was on Capitol Hill this week with civil rights attorney Ben Crump to advocate for black entrepreneurs and to push more representation in the alcohol industry. Come on, don't you guys have the corner or the market cornered on Colt 45? Uh, 50 Cent owns a liquor company, Sire Spirits. Yeah, he used to own or he still does vitamin water. Yeah, go figure on that one. Anyways, now he was photographed with Colorado Republican Lauren Boebert. Yeah, kind of crazy on that one. How that clip manages to surface so that the media wants to hop on it as a bunch of outraged chuds when in reality, this is Fiddy posting this picture right here. Lauren Boebert 
Boebert, Colorado Republican, making the White House look good. Uh oh, uh oh. F- hey, hey, hey! He's getting off the plantation. Get, get back here. Get back here. If I want somebody to do the line test on that one, and uh, d- d- guy, you're you're kind of slacking here. Who's the one who's doing the leaning in on that one? Could be a bad angle. Could be a bad angle. But yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting how they want to run this out right now. Freelance journalist Matt Keener, who has written for websites such as the Daily Caller and the Federalist, posted the clip of Fifty Cent's the latest remarks to reporters about Trump on X. Okay, alongside the following comment chelsea handler is going to be pissed when she sees this now the clip of handler's 2020 tonight show interview was reposted on x by prominent right-wing account libs of tiktok yeah after keener's post and shared by others yeah i think it what do i have the blaze one or something like that same thing tomato tomato uh in the interview handler speaks to fallon yeah late night show we heard all of this stuff okay but yes uh 50 cent uh, responded to the interview that handler gave in 2020 with the post on x where he declared f trump uh, I never liked him. Yeah, okay, cool. So I guess it was more uh, more of a denunciation than I remember, but there it is. I'll take your word for it. Uh, Newsweek has reached out to 50 Cent's representatives via email for comment on the story. But it's interesting, right? The resurface clip that's down there. And I've seen, you know, multiple people shared around end wokeness, the blaze, I guess, libs of TikTok. But just about every one of the big pundits, uh, one of the big talking heads on Twitter had that and sh- uh, shared it around. And I forget who made this clip or who made this specific talking point. But white liberal women are some of the most racist people in existence. Well, uh, yeah, I would agree on that one. But in the context of Chelsea Handler, I just want you to go and check the early life section. You just go ahead and tell me if white liberal woman is uh, an accurate description. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. While another wrote condescending white Karen, uh, uh, white racist Karen telling black men who they're allowed to vote for. Great. Yeah. Th- I mean, time and memorial, man. Nothing's ever going to change. Another user slammed her comments, uh, calling them gross and racist because, yeah, you should be voting Democrat. You cannot be civil. You cannot be miserating with a perceived enemy. You get back over here. You just talk about liquor with one of the biggest race grifters ever, which I didn't even know he was down at Capitol Hill with Ben Crump, the civil attorney who represented George Floyd's family and got him a gold casket and several nationally televised funerals. Oh my God. He also would squeeze how much money out of one of the suburbs of Minnesota for the uh, M. Potter taser, taser, taser at settlement. I think Ahmaud Arbery as well, like Ben Crump. He's definitely he's definitely the modern day Al Sharpton. But to go down there and talk about black representation and liquor, I mean, come on, man, how many malt liquor brands do we really need at the end of the day? But this is going to end up catching him more shit than anything else. And I'm not even a Lauren Boebert guy. Okay, when she was getting kicked out and just being a, a trifle in 304 towards the end of her marriage and being an entitled bitch in that theater. It's like, you know, she got her just desserts there. Quite frankly, I don't care who 50 Cent vote, or, yeah, votes for in this upcoming election. Like some of his raps, I think that he's a funny guy, but I'm not going to take political advice from a goddamn gangster rapper. I don't give a shit, bro. Some people really care about the thoughts and feelings and opinions of goddamn celebrities, and it's kind of creepy especially ones who dare to think independently you need to be more like the brand new percy white even though he'd probably advocate to try to get that name changed but superman actor yeah wendell pierce calls the gop right-wing mega agenda racist after woke dei policy struck down by federal uh, yeah, federal appeals court he's the new percy white the chief at or not the chief my mistake the editor-in-chief at the daily planet and james guns yeah upcoming superman but yeah, the GOP, a right-wing MAGA agenda being racist after the federal appeals court yeah, struck down DEI policies. Uh, June 3rd, the 11th Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals ruled that American Alliance for Equal Rights can sue the Fearless Drivers Grant contents for discrimination based on race. And the Fearless Drivers Grant, yeah, con- er, con- yeah contest, rather, uh, was only providing funds to businesses owned by black women. Yeah, that kind of sounds discriminatory. Not only did the court rule that the American Alliance for Equal Rights can sue, but it's determined that the Fearless Strivers Grant contested federal law, which, yeah, it does. Discrimination based on race or other immutable characteristics. It's kind of right there. Judge Kevin C. Newsom detailed, after careful review and with the benefit of oral argument, uh, we hold that the alliance is standing and that the preliminary injunctive relief is appropriate because the Fearless's consent is substantially likely to 
violates uh, Section 1981 is subsequently unlikely to enjoy First Amendment protection and inflicts uh, irreparable injury. We therefore affirm the court, uh, the district court's rather determination in the alliance has standing to sue, but otherwise reverse its decision and remand with instructions to enter a preliminary injunction. Just fancy talk for we're going to go ahead and overturn that ruling. So yeah, here's Wendell Pierce spurging out a private investment firm of the fearless fund. Well, that clearly wouldn't be the case if that ended up being the ruling from the Supreme Court, but okay. It has been blocked from investigating in businesses owned by black women. The 11th Circuit's uh, U.S. or the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in a two-to-one ruling sided with the challenge to the grant program, arguing it violated a reconstitution era civil rights law. Y yeah, of course. The law was put in place to protect former slaves from discrimination, which technically, if the grant is only given to black women, wouldn't um, black men also get discriminated against so i guess it kind of is working as intended right edward blum don't go figure an opponent to affirmative action has argued its text means that race can't be considered at all in a contractual relationships private funding blocked by the courts not tax dollars that's nice bro I'd continue to spurg out. It's all abhorrent. Oh, we need it. The black people are getting disappro or disappropriately affected. The GOP right-wing MAGA agenda is making it clear that their vision of America does not include black folks. Yeah, because goddamn it, we have rights to discriminate. Like, okay, weird that you just come out and be honest about this, but uh, in their America, we are even allowed to exercise our right of self-determination and build businesses with the intention to destroy them. Holy shit, like, this guy is, um... Like he's out there, huh? But yeah, man, this is the type of black people that Chelsea Handler wants out there. Uninformed, subservient to the cause, and just angry for no specific reason. For uninformed reasons, rather. Like, it's very specific, but it's a very stupid reason. So of course, it's like Wendell Pierce. You might know him if you watch TV and, I don't know, Hi Grandma. Because I don't know what Elsbeth, I don't know what Raising Canaan is, and I'm not too sure how popular Superman is going to be next year. He was on Broadway, and I'm sure literally tens of people recognize him from that performance, but you can get views on Twitter, and that's what, that is far more important, okay? And the fact that he is freaking out over a misinformed political take, well, at least he's not posing with the GOP firebrand, right? God forbid. God forbid. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.